Eric was bringing up something that freaked me out. He said, we're really close. You know, Eric is like always super on top of like new tech and things that's going on in science and all that stuff. And he said, we're very close to being able to do 3D printed food. They're already doing it. Yes. Yes. They're already doing it. Yeah, you can order it now. This yeah. was actually the first three D pot roast they tried to make. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a company that does steaks. They do three D printed steaks. Hey, how, how does that right now? How does that huh? work? Yeah, they're printing yeah, meat. Printing yeah. meat. They're printing. Hey guys, meat. at my bonfire, we're having three D printed steaks. Y'all come over <laughs> and get some. <laughs> like, is it a bag of meat though? Huh? Or is it fake yeah, meat? What do they make it no, out of? It's, it's, it, it's however firm you want it to be. It's, it's, what? Yeah, what's it, yeah. what does it come, like, how does it start? They have like in this pink slime that goes into, it looks like a printer. It's like it a looks hot like dog, a 3D guys. printer. <laughs> and it prints, it just layers it on top. It looks like three, it looks like printed meat. Has anybody ever had it? I haven't. No. 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 There's I can't a company that prints steaks. Like. There's no way they don't have reviews already. We got to order, sure they do. we got to order some people some. 3D printed steaks I, for Christmas. This sounds, no, I got a better idea. <laughs> Why don't like we order some and have somebody on the podcast eat do one of them? Do we cook them or do, do they cook, are they you, printed and you don't have to cook them? No, you cook them just like you How would. Do you know? Yeah, they, because they I watched the videos of it. I, I think in the future they'll be able to cook well. too. <laughs> they'll be able to print to cook, and cook yeah, at the same time. Yeah, you remember those so. crazy gifts? Somebody gave me a gift certificate for some. Oh. What would that? What would the texture be like though? Like they say, it's just like meat. Yeah. Somebody gave like, you a gift certificate for 3D food? Yeah. Hey, here's what we do. <laughs> what? Yeah. Let's get Chef Rob to do it next what? to the guest. Yeah. And and don't tell anybody and see if they notice. Dude, I oh, would you totally can notice, notice when you look at the minute you look at it, you could be like, what hold on. After it's cooked? Yeah. I picture it looking like the play school. You remember when you were like yeah. were kids? Yeah, it's like Play-Doh. And they had like the Play-Doh and the stuff you could like stamp oh, yeah, it. And it, looks like, it. Yeah. it. It looks and it comes the out like texture spaghetti. of it, it's it looks like strands, like it's. I'll show you some pictures of it. We'll put a Why? picture of yeah. one of it. Why it's would weird. you even? I don't know, that. man. That's. Weird. There's no health benefits to it. It's uh, just it's an the, animal. It's probably have, a lot of bad health benefits. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't. There have. It's so new that there's not enough. You know, there's not going to be any studies out about how it really affects you when you eat it or what it does to your body. It's, it's supposed so to have weird. the same protein, um, like all the same nutrition. It's supposed to have all that's supposed to still be in it. That's so bullshit. You got it up. What's the, What's the point of it? Just to be able to get whatever you want whenever you want. Yeah. There you go. Cassio's yeah, got something up because, on Because, I mean, um, printing... Pros, oh, 100% plant-based. The taste is so beefy. Mmm, I bet. Authentic I bet. chew. By the way, if you're telling me it's an authentic chew, it's not an authentic chew. Mm. Uh, meaty aroma, which was my nickname in high school. <laughs> uh, great caramelization, which is what's happening under this jacket right now. <laughs> Low in fat, high in protein. Not me. Cons... <laughs> Too realistic for some vegans. What? Mm. Color and fibers are perhaps too uniform. Texture and appearance more like braising beef than steak. I don't. I don't believe that. What about customer reviews? You see any? Uh, I thought yeah. it was great, and then I, I grew yeah, a finger all, out of my It's all butthole. vegan. It's all fake. Know, it's yeah. a fake steak. It's, Thank that's you, the Scott. other thing. Yeah. That, that, that it's makes not real more meat. sense. It's it's vegan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't know why we're just printing yeah. steaks. Okay, so it's it's vegan it's to look like a steak to give you that. Idea of a steak. Well, what Eric's talking about is even a step further than that. Yeah, 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 there, yeah no, this is a, just the beginning. There's this a company that does do that's uh-huh. meat. What Eric's talking about is like basically like you would have a thing in your house, essentially like a microwave, and I'll let you take it from here. You explain it yeah. so much better than my So, so it'd be like a microwave. You'd go up to it. you go through a menu of all the stuff, probably thousands of food products. You choose what you want, and then you print Here's it. the rolls. So if you want a hamburger, <laughs> if you want a hamburger from McDonald's, like a McDonald's hamburger, yeah. they uh, they have to partner with whatever device you're Appliance. printing it with, right? Yeah. And then they license it. So when you print that burger, you pay for it. It's like music it. or movies or something. You pay well, a copy. Where's it getting anyway. the, the and, ingredients? Well, just like your car, you have to gas your car up. You have to... Put the feed this in. machine. So with just like, I gotta go like, like, buy a McDonald's slime pack. Different to, goops yeah. and slime packs. So it's packs. Play-Doh. right? It's different proteins. Yeah, it, you're just so uh, so. You you can actually help accelerate this by putting software on your uh, on your computer that will figure out uh, an AI will try to figure out new proteins, and the whole world is doing this right now. There's like billions of new proteins being invented, and with that you can. Print stuff like food. 
This doesn't seem dangerous at all. So, so, but the cool thing is, you Man, can it sounds like new Terminator foods. Two, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like making spaghetti. That's okay, but like you can design yeah. your own food just completely from wow. scratch. Wow! And yeah. it could be meaty, it could be leafy, whatever. Is there anybody yeah, here excited to try that? There's that thing. There it is. I mean, it's kind of weird and scary. Oh yeah, the, it's like a big box. Yep. Oh, there's a, a meat printer and a fish printer. Yep, mm, that fish sounds printer. great. Fish printer, David Hearn. Oh, College. you gotta have two. <laughs> <laughs> you, gotta have, you gotta have two different printers. The MX, the MX two hundred. I thought it was fancy. We can get a three D meat printer, but I can't get a touch screen over he, here. He glued a he glued an apple symbol to his Dale over there. <laughs> Well, yeah, but and right, this has got to be company wide because right now there's no way it's inexpensive for a just an everyday person, right? Oh, the well, meat yeah. printer doesn't seem like it, it should be on in the sale future, at Dollar yeah. General. It'll be like yeah. any other te technology. At first, it'll be expensive as all yeah. hell, yeah. and then, and then it'll be. Time. Be